Vicky. Hi. Hi. Good now, Vicky, is there a common ground for everyone to enjoy at the Way Out Club? Oh yes, we're very common. <laughs> no, no. Well, we know that. <laughs> um, anybody can come to the Way Out Club, and they do. And we have um, wives of cross-dressers, girlfriends, boyfriends. We have people coming on their own, and people coming in parties. And it is a party. So, and it's it's it caters for everyone ac across the board, like as you say, from transvestites. Absolutely, across anybody. Now, do you, you describe yourself as an in-betweeny? Yes. How is that different from being a transvestite or a cross-dresser? Or how do you see it as Well, obviously I cross-dress. Yeah. And I haven't any longer got any clothes which are considered uh, male because I bought them from a girl's shop. Because they right. fit me very well. <laughs> Perfect size, 16 <laughs> top, 14 bottom. And um, so my clothes are female clothes. But if I'm going to Tesco's, it's a pair of jeans and it's a top. And yeah. Yeah, it if it's an, the nightclub, it's like this or whatever. But and, and at Tesco's, is it the rhinestones and um, glitter? It depends what I'm <laughs> buying. With it. If it's caviar, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, so at the club, um, you've got it, it's, it's really it's that element of freedom, I suppose, that people, people can express can wear whatever themselves. They, and they want. And that's everybody. Does it? You don't have to be a male to cross-dress. Some of the girls come a little goatee and a little moustache on, mm. wear a suit for the evening, whatever. Um, we get uh, drag queens who are very flamboyant and um, you say confusion, those could be gay drag queens or straight drag queens or whatever kind of drag yeah. queens. Um, and the girls like to dress up too. They'll come down for the first time um, wearing something that they thought was going to be quite outrageous. And, find and then out they, it's they leave. Do. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And so the next week... Boring, dressed, actually. I was going to say... Next think, week it's big wigs, you know. Do you mm. think the atmosphere at the club, is it more sexually charged or is it more just a good laugh and let's be a bit outrageous? There I mean. is a sexual charge in the air as well. People are there to pick up, and uh, as they are in any nightclub situation. If, if that being the case, if you've got such a diversity of people, does, I mean, do some people feel tempted to sort of go around with a questionnaire before they chat someone up? Sort of, you I know, recommend just it. Just establish I do what recommend they are, it. what they're into. You mean yeah. which church they worship yeah. at? Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. <laughs> because yes. you'll get, like, straight guys going there who might want to pick up a cross-dressing guy, but then they wouldn't describe themselves as gay. They're going for with the terms this chicks is, with dicks. Yes, yeah, so this is the confusion, you see. Um, a tranny will go along to the club and... For the night, they're a girl. They might do it once a month, once a week, once mm. a year, but for the night, they're a girl. And a lot of them, not all of them, but quite a few of them will uh, take the admiration of the men and the attention of the men and love it. Yeah. Uh, but when it gets a little bit further down the line, I do recommend that they have a bit of a chat because, yeah. you know, the no, girls no, that exactly. are thinking, I'm a girl for the night and if he touches me, he's touching a girl, he's actually after the dick, you see, because <laughs> he, he, he's, he's out for a chick with a dick. And this is very confusing. I was going to say, do you get many sort of voyeurs who really just want to go and watch? Yeah, they oh, just want to get to see what goes yeah. on. Yes. And you don't mind yes. that? You don't feel they're, they're kind of sort of, oh, no. if they won't join in? Then no, tranny spotters. <laughs> tranny spotters, great. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. No, we love them to be at the club. And, um, what you think is educational for these guys, or women, or whatever? Yes, I'm sure it is. Oh, after yeah, all life is there, so <laughs> yes. it's an eye-opener, really, Oh, it isn't certainly it? is. After, after they've been a few times, they, they, they do loosen up and they do start to chat. My mm -hmm. job uh, as a host of the club yeah. is to um, look out for the ones that are new faces. Mm -hmm. And I do go up mm -hmm. and I say, you know, hi, have you been turned to the club before? Have I not spotted you before? And they're so, um, so sort of shocked that someone's actually talking to them. Yeah. And in my position, they know I'm the host. They know they're not going to get off with me for the evening because I'm busy, I'm working. And that's what I say to them when they uh, do ask. Yeah. Unless I'm working, you think they're I'm particularly cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm working, but I'm finishing about you know, a couple of hours. You might need to buy the large vodka or see you in the bar. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, but I, I do have the position where I can just say to them, what are you into? Whereas yeah. most people can't do that, and, and then of course I go and tell all the, everybody else what they're into. So do you find, say, like if you've got, say, some of the um, more flamboyant, outrageous drag queens that are going along, say, um, is there any friction there between drag queens and, say, you know, guys who are very serious transvestites, serious in that they really want to pass as women? Yes. And then you've got, you know, the drag queens coming in with huge hair. And yes, yes. I mean, do you ever get any tension or is... 
At the club, no. Everybody does get on very, very well. There's no bitchiness? Uh, no. I don't believe it. No, no. <laughs> You're just never a bit. cynical spurge. Do you know that? <laughs> of course there is, but it's not out in the open. No. But you but, can't say that. You want people to go to your club. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have, you have to cope with that, don't you? Um, gay drag queens will say to me, what are these guys come here for? You know, I'm here to pick up a man. What are they doing? You know, yeah. they're enjoying the freedom to be who they want to be that evening mm -hmm. and a lot of them it's a real stress buster because yeah. they've, they've got these kind of I'm a man and I've got to do all these things and I've got to have all these pressures in me and when they go out on a, on, on a night out as a girl it's like they're a different person for the night Absolutely. so they haven't got any worries. I think we all need do a bit of that don't we? Do you as ever long as have they've got their uh, taxi fare home. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever have women going to the club who are actually going to because they want to pick up guys who are into cross-dressing? Yes we do. Um, they don't often know that that's what they're into. <laughs> right. <laughs> but when they get there and they find that they're talking to a guy, he's wearing a dress, and they can have a different kind of conversation. Mm. I mean, like, uh, what I always say is, like, the guy is standing there, he's thinking, oh, she's treating me like a woman, and, and we're in this club together. And she's thinking, oh, wow, you know. And he's thinking it's lesbian fantasy, and uh, <laughs> she's thinking, wow, I can actually have a conversation with a man without actually, well, without you know. Well, without the, the, yeah. the, the sort of BS exactly. chat-up lines. Yeah. I mean, you know, because who's going to do the chat-up lines in that situation? Yes, I guess exactly. it's got to be a two-way street. Yeah. <laughs> Just comparing notes about nail varnish and things, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. And, and presumably quite a lot of them... Um, Partners, uh, female partners of TVs and cross dresses, come to the club as well. Yeah? Yes, and, and, and we love that. That that is my biggest joy is to see um, partners that are together and are enjoying the night out. And then when they bring down other friends as well, where it's work friends or mm. you know, and they they meet up and they they'll have a table together, you know, and it's it's like you know. Uh, it's, it's a lovely atmosphere. I was going to say, sort of, is it like a disco or do you have cabaret? I mean, cause it's I think very it's much a disco. It's yeah. very upmarket, straight to the point. We're having yeah. fun. It's a disco. Anybody that walks in there um, expecting like a, a surgery where everybody's going to be waiting in turn to be talked to by the host and uh, <laughs> consulted on their problems <laughs> has got another thing coming, you know. So so we have handbags <laughs> in the centre of the room. Oh, and get and dancing, get around, dancing them, around yeah. those handbags. Yes, indeed. I, I, the, the years you've been running the club, how long is that now? The club's so been running for three and a half years now. Has, has there ever been a situation there or, you know, a couple that have got together that's actually made you stop and go, oh God, I don't believe oh, that. Oh, yes. What yes, I mean, are some, some of the ones that have, that have <laughs> many, surprised many even times. you? Hard bitten as you are, seen it all, but what's oh. surprised you? <laughs> now you've actually stumped me for words because <laughs> there are so many. There really are so many. Um, it, I, I've seen... Um, a transsexual come in with a guy and they've been arm in arm and I thought, oh wow, this is a really nice transsexual boyfriend. They can really let free. They're not yeah. worrying about, you know, someone looking over and thinking, is that or isn't that? Yeah. Or any of that kind of thing. Because no yeah. one's worried because they've come to the club. They know. They're more interested in the fashion. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. right. <laughs> what are you wearing? The greatest, yeah. Most glamorous. And then the next week, the two are down together, but the guy's also transsexual, you know? And it's like they've been sort of so playing role games. Yeah. Which is, that's fascinating. Um, I, I often see two trannies talking together in a corner and I think, I wonder what's going on there. You know, is, that, <laughs> is that actually going to get intimate? You know, I'll go over and I'm like, hi, how are you all doing? And they're talking about football and the internet, you know. <laughs> Dear oh, me, you know, did you need to put a frock on to do that? You know? <laughs> but whatever, whatever gets, off, gets off, you know, you know. So has there ever been any times when you thought, oh, you know, I mean, this is unpleasant, There's, you know, I mean, do, do people ever come in sort of like at the voyeurs, say, and then they sort of, you know, cause unpleasantness? I mean, or do you manage to, d you know, sort of disperse any, any negativity? Uh, we generally divert, uh, yeah, get rid of, get rid of that kind quickly. of problem. Kick them yes. out the door. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, generally, there, we've never had any kind of problem or fight. Mm. The venues that we work with have always said, oh, this is amazing. Most nights it's breakages and we need mm. three bouncers on the door. Mm. And that's never the case with our situation. Um, we've had people uh, around us in the club in di various different venues who've um, been a little bit surprised yeah. at how far some people will go. I mean, we, we don't differentiate. If, if yeah. people want to come down wearing uh, fetish clothing, as long as they're not hanging all their bits out offending anybody, then yeah. they yeah. wear whatever they want to wear. So some people will say, oh, you know, this, they're taking the mickey out of women. You get a very kind of like feminist woman who's yes. taken, she's come down and she's, well, I don't know quite what this is all going to be like. Mm. But she'll also find someone in the room who is is so 
uh, easy to get along with and aware of themselves and very feminist too, probably. Yeah. So they might go along maybe and have some negative attitudes at the beginning, but, but somehow they... But there'll always they, be someone else in the room. That they can relate to, mm. yeah. yeah. You know, it sounds like a top night out, really. <laughs> I think.